being possessed by a demon, demon is a fear that goes way back to the beginning of time. But you know what's even scarier? Taking responsibility for your own actions. You wanted to throw up on that priest and crab walk down the steps. Admit it! Yeah, you're double jointed. So what? Stop showing off. This axe is brand new. Gotta use it on something. 2005's Amityville Horror Remake and 2013's The Last Exorcism, uh, part two? are some of the recent examples of how if you don't have a good way to show characters changing, just make it so that a demon did it. Possession is nine-tenths of the plot. Would have made Breaking Bad pretty cool though if he was also a demon. What? No, that would totally ruin the whole concept of the show. Oh man, now I miss that show. Me too. Wish we could watch good shows instead of bad movies. You mean bad movies like Amityville Horror and The Last Exorcism Part 2? Yep! I'm James Eske. And I'm Daryl Charles. And we're here to figure out which one is worse. In The Last Exorcism Part 2, the main character, Nell, is once again pursued by a demon named Abalam. Abalam, white Nell got a job. Abalam, white Nell full in towels. Abalam, stop, 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 stop it. Okay. So Abalam is back for Nell's soul and to prove he loves her by continuing to murder everyone she holds dear. He's like the demonic version of a 12 year old boy with a crush. He has no idea of how to approach a woman. I want to be inside you. He follows too closely. I think he likes you. <laughs> engages in inappropriate touching <laughs> and gaslighting. I called you last night, but you never picked up. Stop. Not to mention, he is Peter North levels of backed up. In the Amityville Horror, the demon turns out to be the ghost of the Reverend Jeremiah Ketchum. Gotta catch him up again. Daryl, I swear to God. Okay, sorry, last time, I swear. A guy who tortured and killed Native Americans in the 1700s. His end game is to convince people to murder their families so he can drive the property value down on the entire neighborhood. What's the catch? Yeah, this movie takes place in 1975, so Ketchum has the same powers as a black family moving in next door. What is wrong with that? Ketchum turns Ryan Reynolds into an abusive asshole stepfather. So the ghost also has the powers of money, stress, and bottles of whiskey. You're the one who wanted this godforsaken house. Well, now you got it. Well, in his defense, he also goes after failure to launch basement dwelling brothers who would probably just end up becoming abusive stepfathers themselves. I love you, Jody. You know what? Actually, Amityville has two ghosts. Ketchum and Jody. Jody, 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 Jody. Uh-huh. Oh man, that is fun. Jody is the little girl at the beginning of the film who tries to get Chelsea, the Lutz daughter, to commit suicide. She's the only friend Chelsea has in the entire movie. She barely ever interacts with her brother or her stepfather. Hi, hon. Who are you talking to? I think I'm in my closet. If Ketchum just waited two more weeks, Chelsea would have murdered them all herself. Amityville touches on some real issues, like the stress of trying to keep a family together during tough financial times. It's okay. I'm here. Or what it's like to be Ryan Reynolds and realize you probably could be banging supermodels instead of being the stepdad to some crappy kids. In The Last Exorcism Part 2, the message seems to be that any display of sexuality is Nell turning over to the dark side. Stop touching me! Learn to masturbate. Summon a demon. Touch a boy. Summon a demon. Touch a girl. She's a demon. Let strangers tie you down for kinky stuff with a chicken. Wait, what? Yeah, that, that seems like the appropriate time for a demon to show up. And you know what? That's just a terrible message to send, because oh. everyone knows masturbation gets the demon out, not in. I know who I am now. It would be a lot easier on Nell if anyone she went to was helpful. The religious people mess her up, the girls in the home are mean. What the hell is going on? Got a demon in Screw it. you! She does. And the voodoo people, who know what's going on, try to kill her anyway. She would have been better off reporting her problems directly to Joe Paterno. Just listen to me, please. The kids in Amityville can't even decide if they're all in the same movie. The boys are terrified of the ghost, but the little girl thinks it's just Casper the friendly ghost wanting her to come on over to the other side. Jody wanted to show me something. There is no Jody, okay? One thing the kids are on the same page about is continually talking back to their stepfather, who only responds by being a douchebag. From now on, I'm doing the disciplining around here. End of story. This is supposed to be 1975. Everyone in this movie would have been one giant bruise from all the backhands George was giving out. 70s dad. 70s dad. Seventies dad. Seventies dad. Seventies dad. Seventies dad. Seventies dad. 
slapping kids all in their face because they're talking back. Seven instead. Box office wise, there is no comparison. Amityville was the number one movie of the week it came out, partially thanks to a pretty robust cast. Last Exorcism Part 2 did what it could, but these hoes ain't loyal to the kid from Gladiator. Is it true that you've never had a boyfriend? Amityville tries to add scares to the trope of a put-upon but lovable dad, but the problem here is that Van Wilder the superhero is hilarious. Van Wilder the child murderer would probably only get six months in jail. Nothing actually happens in Amityville. The Lutz family gets away in a boat with the man who pointed guns at his children and punched his spouse. At least in The Last Exorcism Part 2, they went far enough to actually kill some people, and they taught us the way to get out of the friend zone. Treat a woman like her opinions matter, and she isn't just a trophy for your penis and your ego? <laughs> no, I mean make sure every single one of her friends is dead, starting with the boyfriend and working your way up to the girl she experimented with. So it's safe to say that when it comes to the Amityville Horror and The Last Exorcism Part 2, the Amityville Horror is worse. Thanks for watching. Go to LaughCast.com or download the app to get this and all of the fine programming the folks here do. LaughCast.com. You should go to it.